They spied. They consolidated. They told you to off. The nominees for 2008's Big Media's Worst of the Worst are Tribune owner Sam Zell for telling one of his own journalist employees you. You're giving me the classic, what I would call, journalistic arrogance. Our revenue is so significant that we can do puppies and a rat. Next up, billionaire tyrant Rupert Murdoch for swallowing up the Wall Street Journal and spitting out Fox Business Channel, then plotting to take over all of New York City's newspapers in a crazy King Kong rampage. Next up, the Republican and Democratic members of Congress who voted to give retroactive immunity to big telcos caught illegally spying on Americans. Congress loves you so much, they'll enshrine an illegal spying program into legal law because they want you snugly and secure. Some will even go back in time and give amnesty to lawbreakers because if we did punish lawbreakers, they might not help us next time we have to break the law. <laughs> so many deserving candidates, but the 2008 worst of the worst shamey goes to, you guessed it, President George W. Bush for a million reasons. He used big phone companies to illegally spy on Americans. He proposed cutting funding for public broadcasting in half. He let the Pentagon parade an army of sock puppets on your nightly news. Get ready to move on out of the White House, George, and into the Hall of Shame.